Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on a white box which is a subsidiary of in-flight models, a vintage commemorative Singapore Airlines Boeing 747-400 jumbo jetliner aircraft in their current livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model. I purchased this model from Waffle Collectibles and their website address is www.wafflecollectibles.com. But first, before I go into details about this commemorative vintage aircraft model, please allow me to share some information about the history of Singapore Airlines and how they actually came about. Singapore Airlines is a Singapore-based airline that was founded on May 1, 1947 under the incorporation of Malayan Airways Limited by the Ocean Steamship Company of Liverpool, the Strait Steamship Company of Singapore, and Imperial Airways, respectively. Then fast forward to September 16, 1963, the airline became Malaysian Airways Limited. Then fast forward to May 1, 1966, it became Malaysia Singapore Airlines. Now fast forward to September 30, 1972, when Malaysia Singapore Airlines decided to split up and become two separate entities. Singapore Airlines and Malaysian Airlines System, which is known today as Malaysia Airlines, due to the ongoing conflicts between the governments of Singapore and the governments of Malaysia on expanding into the international markets. And as a result, Singapore Airlines officially commenced operations on the very next day on October 1, 1972, and has been operating under the Singapore Airlines name ever since. Singapore Airlines is the national flag carrier airline for the country of Singapore, whereas the corporate headquarters of Singapore Airlines is located at the Airline House, which is actually located at 25 Airline Road in Singapore, while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located, on the, located nearby on the grounds of Singapore Changi Airport, which is located approximately 14 miles northeast of the Commercial Center District section of Changi, Singapore. As of May 2022, or at the time of this video review posting, Singapore Airlines is currently ranked amongst the top 15 airlines in the world of aviation when measured in terms of revenue passenger kilometers flown, as well as the 10th largest operating airline in the world when measured in terms of the number of international passengers carried, as Singapore Airlines currently flies to 112 destinations in 32 countries across five inhabited continents from its primary hub at Singapore Changi Airport in Singapore, with an operating fleet of 151 aircraft, in which seven of those are the Boeing 747-400F freighters, with no unfulfilled orders pending on this aircraft type. And with the exception of the seven Boeing 747-400F freighters that only operates in their cargo subsidiary division, this aircraft is no longer operating in the Singapore Airlines fleet as of May 2022, or at the time of this video review post. Also, as of May 2022, or at the time of this video review posting, Singapore Airlines is one of 11 airline carriers along with ANA All Nippon Airways based out of Tokyo, Japan, Asiana Airlines based out of Seoul, South Korea, Cathay Pacific based out of Hong Kong, Garuda, Indonesia based out of Jakarta, Indonesia, Hainan Airlines based out of Heiko, Hainan, China, Japan Airlines based out of Tokyo, Japan, Korean Air based out of Seoul, South Korea, Lufthansa, based out of Cologne, Germany, Eva Air, based out of Taipei, Taiwan, and Qatar Airways, based out of Doha, Qatar, to hold this prestigious honor of operating as a certified five-star airline carrier according to the international airline review firm, Skytrax Magazine, and the Boeing customer code for Singapore Airlines for this particular aircraft was 12. All right, everyone. Let's take a look at the front of the box and what you see at the top is the airline's logo, the Singapore Airlines billboard title, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the registration ship number, the aircraft type, the one 200 scale model, as well as the item number information you see at the front of the box. Now you're looking at the back of the box, nothing much back there except the airline's logo and the warning information you see at the back of the box. All right, now you're looking at the top of the box, and what you see is the Singapore Airlines billboard title, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, the registration ship number, the 1-200 scale model information, the aircraft type, as well as the item number information you see at the top of the box. All right, now you're looking at the bottom of the box. It's pretty much the same information at the top of the box I showed you earlier on, all right? 
All right, now you're looking at this metal model stand that actually came with the model. And at the bottom of the model stand, you see this plaque here, and inside this plaque is the airline's logo, the Singapore Airlines billboard title, the aircraft type, as well as the scale model information inside that customized plaque. And then you come up here, you see a little pattern right here and right there as well. The sole purpose of these pads, folks, is not only to protect your model, it also prevent it from being damaged or scratched when you put your aircraft on this particular model stand. All right, now you're looking at the special commemorative card that came with this model. You see all the little details on there as well. That's the story behind this aircraft. I'm going to go into that momentarily. But you can pause and read that information on that card if you like. In the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving. All right. Also came with this model is this commemorative keychain that came with this model. You see all the information here. And there's some more information at the back of the uh, keychain. I'm going to show you that now as well. And that's the back of the keychain you see there. All right. All right. With all that information out of the way about the history of Singapore Airlines and how they actually came about, plus all the details here at the front of the box, as well as the information at the back of the box, plus the commemorative card that came with the model, the model stand, as well as the commemorative keychain that came with the um, model as well. And there's no gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model. And since there's no gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model, with no further ado, everyone, here is the actual model out of the packaging box. Let's check it out. There it is. The vintage commemorative Singapore Airlines Boeing 747-400 Jumbo Jetliner aircraft in their current livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model. All right. Allow me to share some information about the Singapore Airlines Boeing 747-400 Jumbo Jetliner aircraft and how it came a part of their fleet. Singapore Airlines actually became the first Asian operator as well as the second airline overall after launch customer Northwest Airlines respectively that acquired its iconic Jumbo Jetliner aircraft as Singapore Airlines took delivery of its first of 42 Boeing 747-400s that Singapore Airlines had placed orders for sometime back in the early 1986 and received their very first Boeing 747-400 Jumbo Jetliner aircraft, which bared the registration ship number 9V-SMA on March 29, 1989 and took delivery of their last Boeing 747-400 Jumbo Jetliner aircraft, which bared the registration ship number 9V-SPQ, which happened to be this aircraft you're looking at here, on October 31st, 2001. Singapore Airlines previously at one time registered and operated as many as 42 of these iconic jetliners in their fleet. And now as of May 2022, or at the time of this video review posting, Singapore Airlines is no longer operating this particular aircraft in their fleet. As Singapore Airlines officially announced in the early part of 2012, that it would officially retire the Boeing 747-400 jetliner aircraft from its fleet in which they finally did in the first quarter of 2012. And that's when the official commemorative Singapore Airlines Boeing 747-400, the final farewell of Boeing 747 flight, actually took place, which was on April 6, 2012, as it departed Hong Kong International Airport in Hong Kong and made its final maiden flight back to Singapore Changi Airport in Singapore as Singapore Airlines Flight SQ-747, where it finally touched down officially for the very last time at approximately 7.06 p.m. Singapore time, which officially signaled the end of an era of Singapore Airlines flying the iconic queen of the skies, the Boeing 747-400 Jumbo Jetliner aircraft. And after 23 years of serving the Singapore Airlines fleet as the airline's official flagship jetliner for the Singapore-based airline, the Singapore Airlines Boeing 747-400 jetliner fleet officially flew off into the aviation sunset, as this iconic jetliner aircraft has since been replaced with the Boeing 777-300ERs, as well as the Airbus A380-800s, which entered the Singapore Airlines fleet officially in 2006 and 2007, respectively. Now, let's talk about the livery scheme you see on this aircraft. This is the current livery scheme for Singapore Airlines, as the logo type and the stripes actually underwent another livery scheme makeover change in 2006, which saw the Singapore Airlines billboard title font was enlarged and moved towards the front of the fuselage, and the airline's bird logo that's displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft was also enlarged as well, and this has been the airline's signature livery look ever since 2006. So, with all that information out of the way about this particular aircraft, 
plus all the livery scheme you see on this aircraft here as well. With no further ado, let's get down to business and allow me to show you all the details on this aircraft. I'll show you. Let's begin and check it out. All right, now we're going to start at the front of the aircraft, which you're looking at here. We start on the port side, which you see the front nose landing gears, the landing gear struts, the landing gear lights, the landing gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on that nose gear door, PQ. See the Peter tubes and the static ports, what have you, the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, as well as the cockpit windows. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those details later on in the model review. Please stay tuned for that part. And then you see the power escape patch door. I'm going to give you a better visual view of that detail as well. But right by the cockpit window is the Star Alliance decal, which is this decal you're looking at here. And Singapore Airlines joined the Star Alliance on April 1st, 2000, which consists of 26 airline members from five inhabited continents. And this alliance includes Air Canada, Lufthansa, SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, Thai Airways International, and United Airlines as the five founding members. And then you see the Singapore Airlines billboard tires you see come across here, there. And right by the Singapore Airlines billboard tire is the Singapore flag decal, which is this decal you see right there. And that flag decal actually represents the country where Singapore Airlines currently operates from as the national flag carrier airline for the country of Singapore. Now you're looking at the center of the aircraft, and right underneath the wings are the massive engines you're looking at right here and there as well. Very detailed, the engine cones right there and there. And these are the Pratt & Whitney PW4056 turbofan type engines that was used on this particular Singapore Airlines Boeing 747-400 jumbo jetliner aircraft. Now we're going to turn the uh, aircraft model around. We're going to actually find out if the turbofan blades do spin. Let's check it out and find out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port slash left side. We're going to start at the outer uh, engine right here, see if the fan blades spin. Oh, perfect. Perfect. All right. Then the inner engine. Perfect. And then there's the inboard landing light right there, as well as the front visual view of the outer landing bogey gear, which includes the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. And then there's the, uh, the center bogey gear here on this side as well. It includes the landing gear struts and the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the starboard side of the aircraft. And let's see if the outer engines over here spin as well. Yes. The inner engines. Yes. And then there's the inboard landing light right there, as well as the front visual view of the outer bogey gears, including the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. And then there's the uh, center bogey gear here on this side of the aircraft as well, which includes the landing gear struts and the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft where you got a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the radon nose cone, the front nose gear landing gear doors, the landing gear lights you see there, the landing gear struts, as well as the front visual view of the front nose landing gears. Now you're looking at the uh, blue and gold winglet wingtip device you see here on this side of the aircraft, featuring the red navigation light you see displayed there as well. All right, now you got a better visual view of these landing uh, bogey gears here on the uh, port side of the aircraft. We're going to stay at the outer bogey gear right here, which includes the landing gear struts, the landing gear doors, and then there's the center bogey gear on this side, which includes the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors there as well. All right, now we're at the back of the aircraft here, and right inside that gold cheat line is the actual registration ship number, 9V-SPQ, which is this registration ship number you see here. Registration ship number, 9V-SPQ. If you didn't know, now you know that this aircraft is actually the 42nd, as well as the very last Boeing 747-400 jumbo jetliner aircraft that actually entered the fleet of Singapore Airlines. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on October 4, 2000, October 24, 2001, sorry about that, and was delivered to Singapore Airlines on October 31, 2001. 
and flew for near 10 and a half years until it was finally withdrawn from the Singapore Airlines fleet after it was officially utilized to fly the official commemorative Singapore Airlines final farewell Boeing 747 flight from Hong Kong to Singapore on April 6, 2012. This aircraft was also the very last Boeing 747-400 passenger jetliner aircraft that officially exited the Singapore Airlines fleet. Then this aircraft was eventually sold to Wells Fargo Bank Northwest on August 10, 2012, then was sold to Trans Aerial Airlines on December 20, 2012, and operated in the Trans Aerial fleet until it was eventually withdrawn from service on October 17, 2015, then was eventually flown to an aircraft storage facility, which is located on the grounds of Turiel Airport, which is located in Turiel, Spain, on October 24, 2015, where this aircraft is currently stored up at as of May 2022 or at the time of this video review posting. All right, now you're looking at the tail fin of the aircraft. What you're looking at is the Singapore Airlines logo, which is displayed on this tail fin of the aircraft looking at here. And this is the corporate logo of Singapore Airlines as the logo actually resembles that of a bird that was actually inspired by a silver crisp, which actually comes from the carrots, which happens to be a dagger from Southeast Asia, prominently featured in the region's myth and folklore, and has been the airline's official logo ever since the airline's inception from the split of Malaysia-Singapore Airlines in 1972. All right, what you're looking at now at the back of the aircraft is the APU, which literally stands for auxiliary power unit exhaust hole right here, and there is a hole there. And right underneath the APU exhaust hole is the actual strobe light you see there as well, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Let's check it out. There it is, everyone. The Singapore Airlines Boeing 747-400 from the rear view angle. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side. We're going to start at the front here, the front nose landing gears, the landing gear struts, the landing gear lights. The landing gear door featuring the partial registration ship number, PQ, the Peter tube, static ports, the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the Star Alliance decal right here, the Singapore Airlines billboard title, the front cargo container loading door, the inboard landing lights, the um, Pratt & Whitney PW4056 engines on this side of the aircraft here and there as well. There's the landing gears right there, as well as the Singapore flag decal you see displayed there as well. Now you're looking at the gold and blue winglet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft featuring the uh, green navigation light you see displayed there next to the winglet wingtip device. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft, and what you see here is the rear cargo container loading door, the AFT bolt bin door, the registration ship number, as well as the airline's logo displayed on this tail fin of the aircraft as well. All right, before I show you this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view in full detail, please allow me to let you check out one extra feature, which is the rolling gears. I'm about to show you that right now. Looks pretty good. All right. However, it has its tilt. It does tilt, but the the landing gear, the bogey gears, the bogey gears does not uh, tilt. Unfortunately, the front nose gears did not swivel on this aircraft as well. Unfortunately, but other than that, it's all good though. So with those, with that being said, let's check out this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view. Let's check it out. Now you're looking at this aerial. Bird's eye view of this aircraft. We start at the front. We see the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit window, the pilot's cape hatch door. You see the star lines decal on both sides. And then you see the anti collision beacon light, a couple of high frequency antennas. Then you see the Singapore Airlines title on both sides, the ADF antennas right there, the Singapore flag decal on both sides, the Wi Fi box antenna, and then a couple more frequency antennas there as well. The vertical stabilizer, known as the tail fin, as well as the horizontal stabilizer. See the two little dots right there, as well as over here as well. Those two little dots, everyone, are actually called illuminator lights. And the sole purpose of these illuminator lights is that it actually lit up this tail here when it used to fly during nighttime. Now, let's check out the engines and the wings from above. There's the engine right there. 
there as well as the top of the wing no wing walkway but you got the flaps slats aileron spoilers what have you fuel dump valve as well as the winglet wing tip device you see on the side of the aircraft now let's check out over here engines there there as well as the top of the wings no wing walkway on the side either but you got the flaps flats aileron spoilers what have you fuel dump valve as well as the uh, winglet wing tip device on this side of the aircraft as well now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model we're going to start at the front there the right on nose cone <clears throat> the crew escape hatch door the, the front nose landing gear door as well as the front nose landing gear and then you see a high frequency antenna there the anti-collision beacon light and then looking at the center bogey gears right here unfortunately they don't tilt as you see there no they don't tilt they just stand still but it's all good the hole where the model stand actually goes in at a couple high frequency antennas the pressure relief valve as well as the apu housing doors right there the horizontal stabilizers right there a little strobe light underneath then we check out the gears right here They don't tilt over there as well either. There's the engines right there, there, as well as the wings underneath, which includes the flaps, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you. Registration ship number, fuel dump valve, as well as the wing, wing tip device on this side of the aircraft. Now let's check out over here. Gears don't tilt over there as well either. It's okay. You can see the uh, engines there, there. As well as the wings underneath, includes the flaps, slats, aileron spoils, what have you. Fuel dump valve, as well as the winglet wing to device on this side of the aircraft, as well. All right, since I show you this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view in full detail. Now I'm going to put it on that nice little metal model stand that I showed you earlier that came with the model. So with no further ado everyone, here is the model on the stand. Let's check it out. Alright, fine got this model on the stand, no problem, no hesitation. As you see it being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model displayed on the stand. Now I'm going to let this model rotate in a clockwise rotation in all directions starting with the port side. Looking at the tail cam, tail cam angle, sorry about that. The starboard side of the aircraft. The front of the aircraft. And back to the port side of the aircraft. And since this particular aircraft model does not have the, the gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft, I'm going to go ahead and take this model stand and go in and wrap up this model review, all right? All right, the seating configuration. The Singapore Airlines Boeing 747-400 Jumbo Jetliner aircraft seated 375 passengers in a three-class configurated cabin layout. Here is the breakdown, everyone, from rows one to four, which is the main deck. This is on the main deck from here to here. You had 12 first class full flat sleeper suites. Rows 11 to 20, which is on the upper deck, which will be from here to here. You had 26 business class live flat bed seats in rows 22 to 25, which is on the main deck, which will be from here to here. You had an additional 24 business class live flat bed seats, which brought the total to 50 business class live flat bed seats in rows 31 to 66, which will be about from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You had an additional 313 economy class seats, which brought the total to 375 seats. And finally, from 1989 up until 2012, Singapore Airlines previously employed their Boeing 747-400s on routes across five inhabited continents from the airline's hub in Singapore to some of the worldwide destinations such as London Heathrow, Honolulu, Hawaii, Tokyo, Narita, 
Los Angeles, California via Tokyo Narita in Taipei, Taiwan, San Francisco, California via Hong Kong, Zurich, Switzerland, Taipei, Taiwan, Sydney, Australia, Manchester, England, Chicago, O'Hare via Tokyo Narita, Seoul, Ichion, Frankfurt, Germany, Osaka, Kansai, Amsterdam, Schiphol, Netherlands, Auckland, New Zealand, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Brussels, Belgium, Las Vegas, Nevada, Seattle, Washington, Hiroshima, Japan, Kaohsiung, Taiwan, Montreal, Canada, Vienna, Austria, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Shenzhen, China, Surabaya, Indonesia, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Chennai, India, Subang, Jaya, Malaysia, Medan, Indonesia, Bangkok, Savannah, Bumi, Mumbai, India, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Athens, Greece, Rome, Fumicino, via Bangkok, Paris, Orly, New York, JFK, via Brussels and Frankfurt, Germany, Brisbane, Australia, via Darwin, Australia, Jakarta, Indonesia, Madrid, Spain, via Paris, Orly, Melbourne, Australia, and Hong Kong. Those were the routes. Where everyone, this will conclude this model review. I'd like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting it if you can find it. The only outside chance of getting this model really right now at this point is on eBay. And if you can't get it on there, you're pretty much out of luck. I bought this model like some years back and I'm just not playing catch up. But if you can snatch your hands on it, please do so. Highly recommend it. So with that said, please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. And above all, everyone, please stay safe out here. Peace.